boys, I got a video response, basic, not a video response, but request, to open up the linear amplifier, the VHF amp. So, as good a time as any to do her, I guess. This is the amplifier, again, it's a... Uh, I think it's PA3-1AC FM frequency range 136 to 175 takes 13.8 volts input 4 watts output 45 watts serial number 2476 <coughs> so that's the amp get your RF input RF output plus power So here is the guts of the amplifier. Right there. You got your uh, RF driver. Uh, B2-125. And your RF output. Which is a TRW BT or B2 7805. And uh, yeah, I can't get no wattage out of this uh, out of this app before. The outputs appear like they could be bad, but uh, I noticed something uh, upon further inspection this morning that this capacitor right here. Notice this solder joint? No. Let's watch. And that's on the input of the amplifier. So, we're going to resolder this tuning cap both sides I'm assuming I'm going to do this side there looks okay but this side here definitely after letting go so I'm going to restart it up before or at the capacitor and give her another try I'm going to reflow the solder on all these uh, tuning caps. So if there's one bad one, there could be more bad solder joints. So let's give her a shot and see how she goes. There he is. Going to resolder this capacitor. Temp to anyway. It's a pretty good uh, ground plane there. Should flow. Keep the heat going there. Well, boys, you want to see repairs back. Well, there's one. I'm going to reflow all these caps. There's one bad one. 
Could it be more? Is that one that was loose there? That's actually uh, input for input tuning. So that one is bad. Looks to be pretty good. Solder one back here, but a uh, coax cable. Side are going to these uh, transistors too. Especially dead joint. This one looks pretty good. All right. Well, let's give her a try. All right. <clears throat> I reflowed the uh, solder to that capacitor. One and two. She's not moving now. <laughs> We flow the solder there. We flow the solder there and there. And down there. So, some fluke. Maybe that was the problem. Let's give her a try and see. I doubt it's going to take a little. It's going to take a little bit more than that. I'm sure to repair it, but we'll see. There you go, it's got power disconnected from the amplifier. I got around to 706. 706 putting out about four and a half five watts. And here's the amplifier. So again the capacitor I had to restart it was this one. I uh reflow the solder to that pin in the center of your screen and I reflow the solder to these three capacitors as well as both sides of this one here I've uh, switched power supplies this is a 10 amp and well I think there's something wrong with this thing because it's having a very hard time trying to trying to put out 10 amps so I got to put on my 30 amp so this is the power output of the 706 with the amplifier turned off. You got 5 watts. VO1MDS testing, VO1MDS testing, 46500. That's roughly 5 watts. So, put the power to the amplifier again. Put the uh, amplifier uh, or the uh, watt meter on 200 watts scale. So we got uh, that's how it should work now. You got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 140, up to 200 watts. This thing has a setter for 20 to 200. So let's try it now. Put the power to the amplifier now. Turn on. You should. Uh, Relay should kick over. And let's see how much power output she's got. Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Victor Ocean 1, Mike Delta Sierra testing. Victor Ocean 1, Mike Delta Sierra testing. So, a little shade under. A little shade under 40 watts. So, 
the amplifier is working. She just needs a little bit of resoldering. So there you go, Tom. The RF amplifier does work after all. Awesome. Gotta like that.